Hey, what's up everyone? I just wanted to give a life update. I wanted to make some other videos, some other types of videos, but just uh, focus for me, if you would. My back tooth, it's on the right side. It would be more in this area right here. It's not the wisdom tooth. I had the bottom two wisdom teeth removed while I was doing this. Uh, back when I was in uh, ninth or 10th grade. But in 2009, this cavity started. And then it just eased off. It never hurt again that much. Just every once in a while, a little bit of pain. And now, first I woke up yesterday with muscle cramps really bad just charlie horses you could see the muscles expanding on my left leg and it went all the way down you all know i've been documenting the other stuff that i was going through all the other infections and extreme pain stuff like that different infection so i took some antibiotics i had left for what i'm going through right now and they eased it off temporarily i've tried everything and i mean everything from old-fashioned uh, home remedy to uh BC powders to Benadryl in the in the tooth to uh, lots of ore gel to putting a sip of the shot on that uh, right hollow spot to everything I've tried everything from like old fashioned remedies I've got this and I've also I also ordered uh, something months ago and I'm, I even used it and it's this oil toothache oil. And it is awful, but yet it alleviated for a little while. But it is so painful. Right now is the only time it's eased off where I was able to talk. But I can't chew. And the back part of it's there. That's it, the back shell. And then it's hollow in the middle and all around the rest of it. And it can't stand to be touched. It just... Eat or drink hurts it. It's excruciating. So, yeah, there's that now. I mean, it's gone from one thing to another with me. I think it might have been when I was out mowing the yard and the heavy wind started. and That wind caused infection because I've had a really bad ear infection as well. It spread, excuse me, it spread from the ear infection tooth uh, jaw infection and now the gum has turned completely white around it swelling and throbbing but I'm able to talk a little bit right now I've done the peroxide yes I've done all that I've been asked that by individuals online I've done it all I've tried every remedy you can think of but I might just have to go to an oral surgeon next week I'll probably have to make, make an appointment for that um, but the reason why I didn't is because it had eased off for so long. And, uh, I had, uh, sorry, I should be talking calmer. But I had gone to the dentist and got these front teeth done. Finished, I fin got them finished last year. And I think about four years before that, he took an x-ray of the back one and found out the nerve... He told me the nerve is like, he said my nerve is complicated. So, there's the root of the tooth, okay? And he said the nerve of that tooth, he said the nerve is in an odd position. And the main nerve of my jaw goes just so narrowly close to that. And he said the main nerves in the jaw go so close to it that it would just, he would be afraid to do surgery. So, he wants to send me, he wanted to send me to an expert. An expert oral surgeon who is actually a facial reconstructionist. So he can actually reconstruct, do reconstruction surgery on people's faces who have been mangled and everything. That's who he wanted to send me to. And he said it probably wouldn't cost, you know, a heck of a lot to, to have that done. So just to pull it because it was the back tooth. It doesn't show. It's not like it's visible. So he said he could probably do that just... You know, don't know if it would require anesthesia. Oh, man, see, it hurts to do anything. That tooth is like, it goes from one thing to another with me. It's weird, crazy. But, 
it's like when it starts throbbing and those sharp pains hit oh my goodness but it's right now throbbing after I took that other antibiotic it's just it's back down to just throbbing right now but not you know the other but got some more ordeal uh, on Saturday this guy was like man you look like you he said ah tooth problem I see and he said yeah and he started talking about his and he went through one time but yeah it it hurts man I tell you bad honest to the lord it's like mm, my goodness but there's been one thing after another with me but I promise I wanted to make there were several other dedicated videos that I wanted to make and depending on how I feel I might do those after all I don't know the better drill kick again now but I need to get a little rest I need to try to get some rest That's for sure. Um, yeah, that's what's going on. There's an interesting story about one of my teeth. And, um, I'll share that in another video. But the, uh, nerve is so close. He said the main nerve of my jaw, if they make one wrong move or a needle goes into that nerve, or if they hit, hit that nerve instead of my tooth nerve or if they damage or hit it when they're trying to take the tooth out he said it could cause the entire jaw my entire jaw to be permanently affected and just permanently paralyze my jaw and the doctor the dentist in just northeast of here said that he didn't want to do it because he was afraid he would mess it up that's how tedious it is and he is an expert he's great but he wanted to send me to an oral surgeon, which is a, I don't know if you call them orthodont orthodontist or not, a facial reconstruction surgeon, specialist. You have to call them, make an appointment with him. That's what he does, but he also, he pulled one of my daddy's tooth and uh, he fixed the cleft palate issue, the uh, a bridge that they did a long time ago, and he fixed it from when he had his cleft palate issue as a, as a child. But he did that few years back probably seven eight years ago and he did a great job on my uh, father's tooth surgery that he did pulling it and everything but mine the nerve I sound like Christopher Walker but mine the nerve is so close that it's hard to do can't do that right now but more cowbell what we need is more cowbell kind of hard to do when your tooth is hurting really badly but it's not I mean it's eased off right now but it just oh man it's excruciating when it comes back but yeah that's what they said they'd have to send me to that guy he had the x-ray on file but they might have to take another one at this point I don't know but I'm gonna have to have them give me something to help the infection before I do that because you don't want to have surgery done with infection but yeah that's what's going on with me right now one thing after another right all right so uh, God bless much love and peace I want to thank you all for your love and your kindness and uh, everything thank you for the birthday wishes for my mama she really appreciated it as well I shared them all with her and uh, I received them on YouTube and Twitter. I appreciate it. Peace, everyone. And, uh, and God bless.